Hi, my name is Antonia. I'm Antonia Parker, and I'm an illustrator. So I do a lot of pictures, for example, uh, draw pictures. So that's fun. Um, I take a lot of photos with my camera. And um, yeah, generally, I have a lot of fun just making visual things. My website is called uh, www.antoniamakes.com uh, because I make things. Cool. So it's the simplest way, really. It's very noticeable that you call yourself a maker rather than just an illustrator. And I wanted if you could talk a bit mm-hmm. more about why, why you do that. I don't just draw pictures. I take photographs. I make collages. I, when I when I get the chance and when I get near the facilities, I like to print things. I like to people to know that I can do other things and that I'm diverse, that I can make costumes and that kind of thing. I took part in a scene fair, which was actually Tunbridge Wells' first scene fair, which was quite exciting, where I made uh, a sort of a handmade photo booth I made it out of cardboard and sat inside it um, and then people would come to me to have their pictures drawn and I'd slot it out the side and it, it was really fun very exhilarating because obviously you're drawing in front of people and their, their reactions are media so you, you've got to get it right it was great great to know that I was being an artist in my, in my new community I've been doing a lot, lot of uh, illustrative work especially for Amelia's magazine. How do you put together your illustrations and can you sort of explain a bit more about the technique? I draw from a photo or if it's possible I draw from the real thing but it isn't always. So I make I, I draw in pencil and then I get my acetate which is sort of see-through film and I draw over it in permanent marker and then I turn it over and I work from the back so I'll start off by filling in the front details um, and then gradually work back until I've filled in the background, either with collage or with acrylic paint or tape, or just things that are either make an interesting pattern or just uh, appropriate to the visual that I'm trying to make. It's it's various building up layers and get, getting there until I've got a really lovely glossy image. And do you pretty much only use the computer right at the end then? Um, yeah, pretty much. I scan the picture in, I crop it in Photoshop, and then I put, uh, send it by email. Really, I just want to be, I want to be touching it with my hands and just doing. It looks like your work is quite spontaneous, but um, is it, do you do it quite fast or not? Because you do turn things around for me it, quite fast. It depends. For example, when I was working for you over London Fashion Week, that was bang, 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 bang. So I tend to work at my, my my body works at the speed that the deadline is. If I've got to p- make three pictures in a day, I've got to make three pictures in a day, and I I somehow do it. I very much want to be drawing, so I I like I like my I like my day job in that I go in in the morning about nine o'clock. I work till about three o'clock, and then I've got the rest of the evening to work. So I've got quite a cushy setup at the moment, but we'll see how it goes. You've done a lot of work for us. How how has that been? You know, sort of in terms of developing your career um for me it's been really useful in that people te- people who are important and in the illustration and creative world they know what Amelia's magazine is it's a really respected magazine regularly having deadlines for somebody who's going to be publishing it weekly that's really fantastic knowing that I've got work to do and be getting on with it it's much more exciting than either waiting for clients to come to me or sort of just working at my own stuff and not really knowing where it's going. I've had a regular way to uh, show my work off professionally. It's been really great having you to draw for. Why were you inspired particularly to draw by Stammo? Uh, The point of ethical fashion is to create sustainable clothing. Nobody's getting taken advantage of. She doesn't want to just make a, a shoe out of hemp. She wants to make very exciting uh, silky clothes that you want to wear. There's there's textures in there w- as well, which makes it very interesting to draw. She's remembered everybody and made something for everyone. I'm very aware of, uh, I suppose, from knowing you for a while, that you're very ethically minded <laughs> yourself. Why do you think it's important that we sort of try and live in a more sort of carefully uh, minded way? I guess we've coasted through going and, and thinking that it's okay to use our resources and waste our resources and not think about the consequences or just not consider what's coming a bit later. And actually, we need to start tidying up after ourselves and just making sure that everything's going to be okay. I don't think anybody can be comfortable with themselves in the future, knowing that they were so irresponsible in the past. You know, we've, got to, we've got to remember everyone. It's about not being selfish.